Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode here. Oh, someone is calling me. Oh, that was a weird interruption. Uh, I, I should probably redo the intro, but I won't. I'm going to be a rebel today, peeps. I'm, I'm gonna just, uh, anyway, <laughs> last episode, we did our Allosaurus mutations. We went for that alpha colored look, and I thought it looked pretty good given the colors we were given, and I'm glad you peeps think so too. And of course, we have their names. I knew there was going to be a lot of creative name suggestions for the Allosaurus, so I went ahead and named all three of our pack members here. We have the main one being Gore. For the obvious reasons that they love to bleed out their opponents. We have Sanguine, which is a word meaning red as the color of blood. It also means very optimistic, which I am. Because I'm pretty sure this army is going to utterly destroy these brute creatures. And then we have Clot for, you know, blood clots. Which I guess is the, you know, opposite of what the Allos do. But yes, peeps, these Allos are going to be pretty tanky. We're running them about 108 thousand health per allosaurus for these members of the army so these guys are going to be tanky and that's to make up for their just we, we can't get better than primitive saddles on genesis they just don't exist in the loot tables for missions which is very unfortunate apparently they exist in uh, uh, yeah in, in the tier two loot crates as a two percent drop but i i don't feel like burning twenty thousand again soon hexagons for a 2% drop rate. So yeah, all of our allies are going to have primitive saddles, which is unfortunate, but hopefully that high health pool will keep them in the game. But yes, speaking of the army, today is the day we finish it. We have everything we need to start it. We have all of our Rexes. We have all of our allos. Now we just need to hatch the rest of them, level them up and saddle them up. Now, the most difficult part about today is going to be getting our Rex saddles crafted up because thankfully we were able to get a pretty decent blueprint thanks to our Helicopteron friend down in the water, a 160 armor saddle. I've already, I already have four made and I'm planning on taking 20 Rexes with me anymore. And I think it'll be you know, way too cumbersome of an army to actually accurately bring through the biomes to track these brutes. And for a total of 20, we need to make 16 more. Thankfully, I went ahead and got all the resources we need. Inus the hide. I have all the fiber and we have all the metal we need already smelted up. And well, the fiber's all in the vault, but we're gonna need, oh, whoops, <laughs> yeah. 144,345 or hide. That's a lot. And unfortunately, I have no ways of really getting a good amount of hide on this map. Even the Rexes don't really get a lot of hide. I'll get about 100 per kill on average, unless I kill something huge like a Bracky. So that really wasn't working. I tried the chainsaw, which is okay. And unfortunately, there's no missions that drop better chainsaws. So using a primitive chainsaw, that's only one Bracky kill. And then that basically destroys the chainsaw's durability before I can even fully harvest the Bracky. So that would have been extremely tedious. So my only options now are either go and tame up some dire wolves, which we do have that one dire wolf that's still unconscious, though it's only a 180, so we probably won't be taming that. And yeah, that's I think that's it. That's the best creature that gathers fiber on this map. I wish we could have gigas. Gigas gather, or not fiber, but hide. Yeah, gigas gather hide really well, but you know, they don't spawn. Whoa. That was weird. Did you people see that? Like texture error on my chest plate? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know if gigas spawn. I got some answers from you guys that apparently the Kraken's better dinos, tech gigas can spawn in the lunar biome. I haven't been able to get any actual confirmation of that. So if anyone like factually knows and isn't just, you know, speculating, let me know in the comments of this episode, please. Because it would be nice to know that we could maybe go get some gigas as a super duper fail safe in case all of this army doesn't work, maybe. But I, I still highly doubt that they spawn. And our last option for getting a hide is just straight up Got some buying it. It's fit. only 60 hexagons per 50 hide. And if I were to do this, we could get 56,000 hide for 67,000 hexagons. And that's not even half of our current hexagon total. So I think Nothing looks that's good. what we're going to do. We've been saving up these hexagons for so long. We might as well finally actually put them into a use heap. So I'm going to sit right here 
absolutely chunk my one. inventory with hexagons or uh, not with hex. Ooh, what? Whoa, what? There's new things here. What are these? Oh yeah, I actually got to click on them. What? A dino Easter egg hat? Easter egg head? Marshmallow hat? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Procopped on a bunny costume? That sounds nightmarish. A bunny tail? Bunny costume? Dude, these are great. What are these ones? A Styracosaurus costume? Well, we already have Styracosaurus spawning. We already have Sticky spawning. And we already have Bracky spawning. That's so interesting to me. So Wildcard clearly has the models for these then in the game. But for some reason, they just haven't added them. We need Kraken's better dinos to have them. And of course, what? Oh, that's just a normal hat. What? <laughs> Water soaker flamethrower? A frisbee. Oh, that's cool. I like all of these. Oh, we could get more emotes. Mosh pit, a hula dance, archer flex, bicep smooch. A backflip? What? Air guitar? Do you have these permanently if you buy them? Or does it only like stay on your character? Because if we make a new character on another map, that would really suck to lose these. Yo, the inflatable. Dude, I was thinking about getting one of these in real life just, just for the fun of it. All right, anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm wasting time. Let's go ahead and buy all of the hide. Bam. That'll do you right. That's, that's a lot of hide. hide. 56,000. Uh oh, can we even put all this in here? I really hope we can. And, oh wow, oh my god. Yeah, the tech replicator has a ton of storage. All right, hello. Wait, hello. Get some Welcome extra hexagons. Hexagon and another 56,000. Uh, is that enough? I actually don't remember if that'll be enough. Oh, let me actually spell hide. There we go. All right, is, is that enough? Scroll, scroll, scroll. And, no, we still need 32,000 more. Welcome to the hexagon can I, exchange. Can I get that? No, we're just short. All right, Thanks, so. Mate. We need to do some missions then, peeps, to get some more hexagons. And I think the easiest ones to do are going to be the water brutes. We've established that our army can just wipe the floor with, the oh no, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, but we've established that our army can wipe the floor with <laughs> so much hide with the water brutes, our Zephactinus army to be more precise. So we're gonna go ahead and do that a little bit and buy the rest of the hexagons that we need. Actually, peeps, now that I think of it, all of these escort missions also provide, yeah, 28,000 for the alpha. We need to do these anyway. So instead of farming the missions that we've already done, yeah, we, we should just do some of the missions that we haven't done yet. With our army, these should be, these escort missions at least should be a piece of cake. So, oh, oh, thank goodness. I thought I was stuck. So yeah, let's go ahead and do these escorts and get some easy hexagons while also netting us some nice mission progress. I'm gonna go ahead and skip right to the alpha difficulty on all of these missions. Uh, Cause if we can do it on alpha, we could definitely do it on the other mission or other difficulties. And I'll go ahead and do those later. So as long as we can do them on alpha, I think we'll be good to try this. All right, so it's a bunch of donkeys right now. And some eels. Oh, the lag. Oh, oh. hey, no, leave the dolphin alone. Rude. All right, wow. Super high level donkeys are not fun to fight. Oh my, dude, they're doing a lot of damage. Okay, oh gosh, maybe I should have the army on aggressive? That might help, but I don't know. I feel like they're kind of stupid on aggressive. Are, are we good? Did we kill him? Dude, what? How, how? Sick, dude, I love being boxed in. Our dolphin's health is so low already. How is that? Wait, how, how are these possible then? Because that, what? Yeah, if all the creatures just beeline our, our dude, we can't stop them from reaching it. What? Okay, well, maybe if I control and Flexible if we cut them off before, oops. oh my God, get out of my face. I gotta try and find where the threats are before they reach our uh, our dolphin friend, I guess. I see no threats. No, I see a threat. Uh! Kill, it. kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Dude, they do so much damage. How, 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 how? How, how, I don't, I'm, I uh, don't know how this is meant to be possible. Uh, is this donkey a part of it over here? No, okay, that's a normal donkey. We just have to hope that like not much attacks us, I guess. Cause look, like that with two eels almost finished him off. Oh gosh. All right, man, I get out of here, Leo Plaridon. Right All right. It should not take my army that long to kill Leoplaridon. 
What is this? Oh, it's a, it's one of those terrarium entrances. Oh, there's there's an enemy. Get him, get him, get him, guys. Get him. Oh, it's being attacked. All right, We've let's go ahead. Help. We can thankfully one shot the uh, mantas. Come on, guys, please kill, please kill, please kill, kill it! Oh my gosh, the donkeys are so tanky, even with the entire army on them. That was than I wow, are you joking? I mean, how is that possible oh, then? Didn't make it. What? What? Okay then, for this attempt, I'm gonna try having them on aggressive maybe, and we'll see if that works. Oh gosh, I've got a bad feeling though. All right, set them to aggressive and follow. Oh gosh, we go to murder. Yo, there's That's a shark. The, right there. uh, the helicopter on actually aren't sharks. Did you guys know that? They aren't though. All right, come on, everyone get off of me, please. Everyone off of me, please. And get back to me so you don't run away too far. All right, stay with the dolphin. Okay, hopefully now with everyone on aggressive, where are you going? Okay, well, that's a fact and it's just gone, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Where, why are these a fact and it's... I am so confused by where these are. Oh God, okay, I am, I am not, I just, I just whistled attack oh, target. Attack. All right, let's get everyone back on aggressive and not on attack my target. It's, I gotta, oh my gosh, dude, like what? They're doing 800 damage a bite. Are you joking? It wasn't supposed You're, to be that difficult. It wasn't supposed to be that difficult. Again. Really, Helena? Really? It up and died on us. How? How do you do that? I I don't understand how to do this. Yeah, I have just how, Genesis? How how? Am I not getting something? Do I need like stronger creatures? Do I need squids? <laughs> like what? I don't get it. I really don't understand how you're meant to do something like that. Because at least on land, you can kind of body block things, right? Like you can get your collision in their way, but you can't do that in the water because they'll just swim around you. And then they do 800 damage to the dolphin and I, I'm stuck again. Okay, there we go. What the heck, game? I don't... Uh. All right, so nope, that's not gonna work. Let's go ahead and just kill alphas because I'm not dealing with that. That's just dumb. This should be more than enough. Yes. All right, cool. And just like Rick that, peeps, Cheers, that's survivor. all the hide we need. Let's quickly, oh no, it is gonna fill up the oh, pain. The replicators fall, we can't make it all at the same time. Is there any junk I could take out? Uh, yeah, but not enough to actually be able to craft this. All right, I am gonna go ahead and like right over here. I don't know why I called it a loot box, but uh, I guess the loot that it holds now is just a bunch of hide. And with this, we should be able to make all of the saddles. Let me just go ahead and check where, uh-oh, where's the blueprint? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I really should put this back at the top so I don't actually, well, doing this is just gonna put it at the bottom. All right, and pulls for one, cr oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, so it pulls for more than it can hold. That's very interesting, but I won't complain. Now, before we do any of this, we have to remember to mind wipe. That would have been so upsetting to make all those crafts without mind wiping. 1,450 crafting skill. I'm hoping for a lot of high 90s in this craft. I will be very upset if we somehow just get awful crafts for the majority of these. Oh my gosh, I gotta scroll for forever. Where is this blueprint? What? 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 There it is. <laughs> All right, peeps. Here we go. We can make eight. I should be able to make a lot more than eight. What? Okay. Well, that's slightly worrying to me, but I'll go ahead and just start all the crafts. If I hit A. Oh, okay. So again, for some reason, that's only crafting eight. Let's go all the way up to the top here. Um, We need a lot more than eight. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and look at these saddles. 8%. Oh yeah, the pain. Uh, 69. Nice, but unfortunately not as much as I would like. 26, 64. I mean, there we go. We got a, we got 199, uh, a 50, a 58, and an 83. Wow. But also, what? How? Why do we need so much more hide? That's crazy. Wait, hold on. We would need eight more to reach 20 and we need, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a grind. Uh, do I even want all of these Rexes to have great saddles? 
Oh my gosh. 80, 180,000 hide. That's gonna be so many more fights. At least with the metal ingots, I could take our Magmasaur out to the, yeah, to the volcano, because there's a lot of rich nodes there, but like, oh my gosh, that hide. Okay, um, I'm not sure what to do right now. I really thought that was going to be enough for all 16. Why didn't it, I guess, I guess it didn't tell me because it was full? Oh, that's really unfortunate for my soul, peeps. My soul. All right, well, that sucks, but for now, let's go ahead and just worry about leveling up the Rexes for the saddles that we do have, and then... I guess we're gonna go have to take the army back down to, I, I mean, maybe I'll even farm motor. Motor might be an easier farm, to be honest, because at least with motor, it's all in the same arena and we know we absolutely body motor. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start foaming, uh, foaming? Farming motor for the uh, hexagons after this. And then I guess, oh, I should probably take our, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take our Magmasaur out to the magma biome to get more metal now so that's smelting and then we'll just level up these rexes with rex babies i should probably start the rexes breeding unless i think they actually might already be which would be very nice uh, oh gosh yeah they are um i am gonna need all of these eggs thank you so much <laughs> Alrighty, peeps, we have successfully used up all of our current saddles, and we have a good amount of Rexes, but we are just short still of 20. We need, holy heck, you're loud. Yeah, we need eight more saddles and also eight more Rexes until we have 20 alpha fighting Rexes. And now I decided that the final stats for these Rexes will be 80,000 health, well, as close to 80,000 as we can get, and at least 3.5k melee. I feel like that is the perfect combination of health and melee stats for these Rexes to go into these boss fights with. The 70k kind of felt too low to me, and the 90k left the melee lacking just a little bit, so 80k and 3.5k melee is perfect for this situation. At least I hope it is. All right, peeps, I am back from the long farm with 195,000 hexagons. hexagons. We probably don't need this much, but I was there and I went for it. I, I did motor six times. So let's, let's go ahead and get Thanks, all mate. of the stuff that we need and then hopefully be able to never have to fight motor again. I swear I'm going to have dreams about that fight. All right, come Welcome on. How much? I, I really exchange. hope this is enough. Let's it should again. be. Let's check how much we need after I put all this stuff in here. So there we go. How much more hide do we need? Okay, only 29,000 more. Oh, thank gosh. That means I only had to do this. I didn't have to do this as much as I did it, but whatever. And there we go, 30,000 more. And we still, get out of the way. Get, move. We still have 25,000. Actually, no, that means I did have to do it all the Let's times I did. Wow, great, fun. Oh, well, I'm, I guess I'm glad I didn't come back up here and then realized I had to go all the way back down with the army because that would have been really annoying, but yes. But no. <laughs> ah. I need a little bit more. Uh, uh, thank let's you, do this again. Ark Bully. I'm being bullied. All right, let's go ahead and craft all of these. Let me just double check that I'm crafting skilled. Okay, good, I am. Please give me good saddles. I would love good saddles. The, the crafting sound for the replicator is so satisfying. All right, and we might as well do one more. What do you mean? Just take the... Oh, yeah, it's, that's why. That's why I couldn't take the high, because it can't pull things from your inventory. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, 15. Oh, this is a good one. Whoa, 101! <laughs> that hasn't happened to me since Aberration. What was it that we got over a 100% crafting skill bonus? I have no idea, but... Oh, Pog! That makes up for some of the bad ones. 67, not bad. Oh! What? Okay, that's ridiculous. Three, 118, 320 armor. Okay, game. 65, 58, exactly 50, and 72. Wow, this was a much better grouping of saddles than our first one. Holy heck. Um... I'm literally going to screenshot this because that's hilarious to me. Okay, our Rex mutation. Oh, dang it. I have to I have to go do this, but uh, not mutations, but our Rex saddle crafting is finally completed. Now we just have to do aloes and that'll be like infinitely easier because they are just primitive saddles. So I'm going to go ahead, finish up our Rex leveling, and then I guess we'll move on to the Allosaurus. 
Alrighty, peeps. We are done with the Rexes. We... Unfortunately, somehow I miscounted and we don't have 20 and we've only ended up with 18 Rexes, but I I'm not making more saddles. I'm not. I refuse. <laughs> so we're just going to have to deal with 18 Rexes and hope that's enough. But now it is time to focus on the Allosaurus. Now, I'm not sure how many Allos I actually want to go with. Well, how many do we need for a pack, I guess? So let's if we take away Sanguine, let's see if Gore and clot stay packed up so okay let's uh take your saddle off put it on go put it on gore and yeah we're still packed up so we only need two aloes for a pack and i guess i i really can't decide how i want to use the allosaurus do i want to throw them all in just like with the rexes you. or do i want to kind of stagger them but i don't really know how i could stagger them with cryopods with the cryo cooldown i'm I'm just not sure, peeps. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and start breeding them up because either way, I'm assuming we're going to need a bunch of them because I feel like a lot of these guys are going to end up dying. Let me actually grab your... Actually, I don't need your... Okay, never mind. But yeah, I feel like the aloes are going to be the ones that die the most because of their primitive saddles. They're going to be taking mountains of damage and I'm probably just going to end up including them fully in the army anyway and not try to stagger them out. Because, like I said, I don't know how I'd even be able to do that with cryopods, but also I doubt the brute will be able to kill all of them at the same time. So hopefully some of them will live long enough to survive the first couple of deaths and still inflict that bleed for the majority of the fight. But uh, yeah, thankfully these saddles won't cost us an arm and a leg and the longest part of this process is just going to be making the Rex eggs once we have all of the aloes bred up. Well, heck. All right. So it turns out I didn't miscount. I just didn't grab two of the saddles that were in the uh, replicator. That's good to know. I came in here to grab a piece of element for the propagator because it needs more fuel. <laughs> and it turns out I still have two more saddles. All right, cool. So we do have 20 Rexes. Amazing. Unfortunately, I am super into the aloe stage right now. So these Rexes will have to wait. I guess we'll go ahead and saddle two of these up. But yeah, that's pretty nice to know that we do actually have two more Rexes to join this fight with. Alrighty, peeps, the army is now fully complete, fully healed, leveled, all that good stuff. We're ready to kill some brutes. The only thing I'm worried about is, are we going to be able to teleport everyone at the same time? There's a lot of people here, or uh, not people, but uh, dinosaurs, I guess. We're going to try and find out, so I'm going to go stand in the middle of all of them. Oh god, I just realized if we ever try to... Okay, alright, never mind. I was going to say if we ever try to bring them back, they're all going to get teleported together in a giant clump, but uh, I guess we won't be coming back to the island, or uh, the ocean with these guys, considering we don't need them here anymore. We're in the end game now, peeps. I think the first brute we're going to try to clear out is going to be the bog brutes. That's the most open terrain, least amount of junk we have to worry about maneuvering around. And it's also got one of the hardest brutes being the spino. So if we can take out that spino, then I know that we can do pretty much any other brute on this map. Ah, um, <laughs> there's a little bit of an issue. How did we get the Astrocetus? All right, well, that's a little, little bit of, a, of an issue. Let's go ahead and just take this from you and we'll just fly you up for a little, little tiny bit. Oh gosh, are you stuck? Okay, no, you're just being very slow. Do your blowhole thing that speeds you up uh, okay, or, or not, or you could just be slow. All right, yep. Thank you, Astrocetus. Have your orb of not moving anymore. All right. But as I was going to... Oh, what's fighting over here? What is that? Wait, what? I have something? I... What? The only thing I have over here right now are my Rexes and Aloes. What is this? Hello? <gasps> it's Brownie! Oh, is Brownie going to win? Oh, Brownie's super not going to win. Let's, let's, let's buff up Brownie. Oh, God. No, not me. All right, well, we're going to support Brownie. Let's go ahead and get that, that fear roar going. Can we fully fear roar a Dinosuchus? Oh, don't, don't bleed bite me. No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, don't move. Not moving is key right now, because if we move, that bleed will actually, you know, bleed us. Go get him, Brownie. Wow. I did not think we'd ever see Brownie again, though. 
Brownie was that dire wolf we tamed so long ago, and she's actually kicking some butt. Did she win? She won! Absolute unit. But yes, peeps. Oh, I'm gonna have to move the Astrocetus further away. Actually, I might not, because it has the orb of staying power. Even if it gets set to follow, it shouldn't follow me. But yes! As I was going to say when we first teleported in, it's so, I guess, just interesting to be back here. We started in the bog when we had nothing, being attacked by swarms, fearing our lives from capros and raptors, and, well, here we are now, a total of 816 days later, with a Rex army, an Allosaurus army, and honestly, the most powerful group of dinosaurs I've ever created in... Not only this series, but my entire arc career. Let's get everyone on follow and start making our way towards some brutes. We're gonna start with the raptor, because that's probably the easiest brute mission probably in the game. I said probably twice, but oh, you know what? We're gonna bring Brownie with us as well. All right, army, let's march. We've got a long way to go, over two kilometers. But, like I said, the bog is mostly flat and easy to navigate, so as long as we keep an eye on our army, this shouldn't be so painful. I love it. It's awesome. The full might. This is uh, this army is probably going to be, unless Genesis 2 also needs something insane, the strongest army I will ever breed up. This army, actually, that's not true. The Giga Army on Extinction is probably the strongest, but this is a close second. Like, I'm pretty sure these Rexes would have stomped my Acro Army from Extinction as well, just because of how insane they are, especially with the Aloes providing extra bleed. This is a scary thing to see walking through this bog, especially because they're so bright and, and colorful, which is such so contrasted by just the nature of the bog being so dark and dreary. I really hope... Oh, no, no, no. Everyone run away from that. I really hope he didn't get a gigabyte off. Oh, my God. He did, of course. The stupid Dinosuchus, man. As we approach the mission terminal, you can hear it. The rumbling of a Rex army. It's crazy. It's, it sounds crazy to listen to. It's just that, that deep rumbling of constant, unending footsteps. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and sprint the rest of the way. I think we can make it. The Rexes are a little bit slower than the Uteranus, but the Aloes should be able to keep up. I really hope that Dinosuchus isn't going for anyone in the army. Oh my God, why Dinosuchus? Why? I hate Dinosuchus so much. If he bleed bites the army, we're gonna lose so much health based on, on, on that bleed. All right, kill this, kill that Dilo. Oh. I think the dinosaur just may have gotten a bite off, but he certainly does not exist anymore. Where are all these dilos? Oh, okay. There goes that one. Oh my, dude, that Capro yeeted himself. No, everyone, stop, stop, stop. We don't need to fight the Capro. Seriously, am I stuck on this aloe right now? I literally am just, oh, nope. There we go. We got free. Holy heck, we have so many creatures with us. We have 30 creatures if, if we have everyone. I don't think anyone got lost, so we should have... Our full force. Oh, 31, because I forgot Brownie's also here. Oh, yay. All right, Brownie. Unfortunately, I'm not going to let you die. You've survived in the bog all this time. I'm going to go ahead and have to change you to enable group whistles. You can guard this terminal for us if we ever need to. Actually, we will need to return because this is also, yeah, the Bloodstalker mission. So let's go ahead and start this up. Excuse me. There we go. Don't let those bugs hit me. I don't like them. They're mean. They're bullies. This is it, peeps. Thrill like the thrill of the hunt. This is everything we've built up to. Beating the alpha creatures. Can't go away. Stupid that. bugs. Oh my gosh. They're huge. What? Oh, Wait, here they are. Oh gosh. I forgot the footsteps are really annoying to track in the bog, but uh, at least it's not the Arctic. Uh, thankfully, it hasn't aggroed onto us yet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to not stutter and take the opportunity to fully courage roar the army, or we can poop with the Uteranus. That works too. And what I'm hoping to see is that Brute Raptor's health bar get absolutely obliterated. That would be so nice, but I feel like this is still gonna be a little bit of a fight. All right, everyone's couraged. Go get him. Oh, it's coming in by itself. All right. Oh my gosh, it's doing 2,000 damage. I mean, it's kind of melting though, but it's still doing a crazy amount of damage. Though it is doing smaller damage numbers, I think it's doing those smaller damages to the Rexes. Oh, okay. 
We got it. First stage done. Uh, <laughs> you can you can see it fading away, covered in blood. Okay, how's everyone? How's everyone from that? Oh, wow. Okay, no, no. Okay, yeah, we got some of the aloes that got a little bit hurt, but ultimately not bad. That's a Rex, a little bit hurt. Yeah, that's that's really good though. We're definitely gonna have to heal between alphas, but at least we, we don't have to heal between alpha stages. Where's where's the? Okay, there they are. I really hope these uh, stupid rocks and stuff don't get my army messed up. That would be kind of tedious to deal with. Come on, everyone, please just cooperate. There you go. I think that we're good. I'm assuming everyone is good. All right, there's the alpha. Let's go ahead and get everyone back so we can buff them up. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. All right. Oh, God, that's really bad. All right. Come on, get that courage going. All right, that's a little bit of resistance. Guys, dude. Help in the fight! Okay, this is really stupid. This is why aren't they fighting? Okay, this is really bad. We gotta, we gotta uh, actually. Okay, never mind. It's done. It's done. Why are it? Oh, the AI, please, AI, actually participate in the fights. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, a lot of you are still good. There are a few of you that are pretty hurt from that, but. Scanner all right. It, I mean, it looks like we just don't have time to heal in between or uh, courage or before these fights. Because if the brute comes in and we don't aggro whistle, then it's just going to be a cluster. Oh, dude, what? Look at that Rex. He's coming from so far away. I guess he was stuck on those on those What's trees there? back there or rocks rather. I don't know what they are. But yeah, we're going to go Scanner ahead and get the army active. buffed up. Then hopefully try to engage this alpha as quickly as as we can to keep the buff and then from there We could just keep the buff active with our constant roars and that way it'll be a Much cleaner final fights the Rex or the, the Raptor is the easiest so I, I knew we were going to win this but I just want to win it as hard as I as we can. Oh, come on Helena. There we go. Oh, don't tell oh gosh This is gonna be a pathing nightmare all right. Yeah, this really sucks. Come on. All right. I don't know who's the brute. So just everyone go after that thing. Where's my arm? Whoa, oh, I forgot to put him on follow. Dude, that did 4,000 damage to me. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, okay. Uh, tar okay. 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 <laughs> a little, a little janky, but it's fine. It's fine. All right. Let's get over there. Which one's the brute? I want to. Okay. That one. Everyone. Okay, wait, let's get to the side more so everyone can like kind of do this better. All right, everyone go, go kill. Yes, yes. Dude, the damage is insane. Oh my gosh, and the entire army, I, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm not. Attack, attack, attack. Everyone please start attacking. Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. Dude, we're, we're close to losing people already. There's so much, one of these is on super low health, but the root's dead. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just go go kill the rest. Go kill the rest. Go go do it. Alright, let's just keep the courage roar up while we are stuck in position. Alright, go go everyone, go. And that's pretty much this done. At least we're tearing through those normal raptors. And we haven't lost anyone, so that's nice. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. I didn't I didn't think it would go that poorly, I guess. I really did think we were gonna steamroll this. All right, everyone, follow me. And let's get back over here. Oh, that was kind of upsetting. I should have brought my dead on so we could heal, but I guess. Uh, man, that's gonna be. Oh, that's gonna be so annoying. We're up. We'll have to bring the dead on here, bring it back to base for it to eat, and then bring it here again. <laughs> All right, but uh, I guess it's it's fine. It's fine as long as you don't lose anyone and keep everyone healed up. It's fine. All right, you guys deal with that. <sighs> all right, everyone stop. Let's let's do some battle damage assessment and all right So for the most part everyone's really good. I thought I saw someone. Okay. Yeah, one of the aloes is, was extremely low Who's still Can moving? Someone is still trying to move. Oh, it's a baryonyx. Wait, where's my ow ow? Someone help. Where'd the Uteranus go? Bertha, what are you doing? Are you who are you trying to follow? Oh, you're trying you're following me. Okay, interesting. Yeah, as expected, the aloes are pretty low because they don't have sh uh, saddles, but look at our rexes. Our rexes are almost like perfectly fine. Holy heck. Wow, I didn't expect the rexes to be this healthy. Get out of the way, frog. 
And our some of our aloes are still pretty good. Okay, that's what I like to see. Wow, all right, so, okay, never mind. I was really disheartened by that, but after seeing the, you know, aftermath, that's amazing. That's actually amazing. All right, peeps, I think I'm gonna leave the army here and I'm gonna teleport back to base, grab our piggy pig, and then I guess we're gonna go ahead and try and clear the alpha blood stalker next. Actually, peeps, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So this episode will be the prep, and I guess the proof of concept that this army is successful. And then the next episode will be us tearing through brute creatures across the biomes and absolutely dominating with our amazing, colorful army of death that we have built up over the episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this army. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.